shot. <laughs> Oh, cool. All right. <laughs> so, so we're going to change the game and we're going to go live on YouTube. As well. We're trying. Of our scheduled time. But I think we have to. So because we got a special night. I mean, a special right. day. <laughs> with two so we're going to change the game. Yeah, but see, now you got to change go the audio. YouTube. As well. We're but trying. But so which one is that? That's the one that's on YouTube. Night. So you have to turn off. The, okay, so yeah, you now you gotta change the audio. Yeah, well, I can't just close this out. Uh, you can try. Turn off the YouTube is closed out. All right, so maybe it's still going, it's live on YouTube. All right, so then go back to our uh, option. All right, cool. Welcome, guys. Hi, Pat. Hi, Melody. How you guys doing? Cool, cool. All right, can everybody hear her? Can you guys all hear me now? You can even just do a thumbs up if you can hear us. I can, awesome. I can hear it upstairs, so we're good. <laughs> all right, let's let I say something. Can you hear the sweetie pie? Yeah, say hi. Thumbs up if you can hear us. Thumbs up if we can hear you. Let me do the sweetie pie. <laughs> cool, cool. Oh, yeah, you can spotlight them. Yes. Hey, all right. <laughs> all right, that's what I'm talking about. So cool. We're going to have so much fun today. This is unbelievable. Hey, we're trying to collaborate. We're trying to encourage our little young entrepreneurs. We're trying to uh, make it fun and interesting, family fun, family friendly, make you some treats, make you smile. <laughs> we'll give it another two or three minutes okay. for anyone that has to sign on or hopefully to catch us live on YouTube. This is so awesome. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll get started. We'll go over our supplies and we're going to start with the, the cooking process first. Or yeah. It's not really much cooking, the no cook. No, it's all, it's all pretty much no bake or easy, easy bake. Yep. <laughs> Love it. I'm gonna have to run up and down the stairs to try everything though. Oh, wait, we have two sweetie pies to run those. Yeah, two sweetie pies can be delivered <laughs> right to, to the downstairs studio. Delivery system. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, you can stay upstairs now. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Mark's gonna get his exercise running up and down the stairs today. Hey, that's right. <laughs> He's gonna have to take a nap after. Up, down, up, down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. We're almost ready to go. I think so. Let me say. Let me check checking. Mimosas is watching you live. Yeah. I want to awesome. see it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, it's working. It's working. Yay. So we so just cool. the game. <laughs> All right. Awesome, guys. Well, let's do it. Let's get started. So for those of you that don't know us, I am Jennifer. Mark is behind the camera, behind the computer. We are Mimosas and Masterpieces in Studio A upstairs <laughs> or Studio B. I don't remember what I called it. Mm -hmm. In our kitchen is two sweetie pies. We have Cousin Tara. Wave hi to everybody. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You're going to wave hi to everybody. Let them see you. <laughs> we have... Jojo. Say hi. <laughs> and we have the other one of the two sweetie pies, Jacqueline. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to let them. So what we decided today was to do a small collaboration with the two sweetie pies where we can paint a little cupcake that says happiness is homemade, or you can make whatever you want. You can make your saying whatever you want, or, um, or, or and we're going to, uh, do a little bit of cooking, baking, or no cooking, no baking with the two sweetie pies. So these are kind of some treats and snacks that you can make with your kids at home or your kids can probably handle on their own, believe it or not. Uh, so we're going to let them take it away to uh, to start us off. And then we're going to come on back down here. So you'll see us kind of flip that spotlight um, so that it's large on your computer screen. Uh, okay. So get started we're with us, okay? With yeah, we're going to get started with them. We'll let them take it away. All right. Um, All right. So like 
Jennifer and Mark said, um, I'm Tara, this is Jacqueline and Joanna, so we're from Two Creepy Pies, um, located in Lincoln, Pennsylvania. Um, so this is a lot of no bake or easy bake. Um, so I'm kind of just gonna narrate, but I'm gonna, just so you can see that it's very easy and kid friendly, they are gonna do most of the work. I'm just here to supervise. <laughs> so the first thing that we're gonna start is our Oreo truffles. This is a very easy and simple thing that you can do. Um, it's two ingredients, well, three to count the chocolate. Um, so you're going to get a family size uh, pack of Oreos. You can use any of the flavor. We are going to, we're going to show you with the double stuff, but we also have a pack of Oreo mint. Um, so we're going to do both. Um, so what you're going to need is 25 Oreo cookies. Keep the cream in them. You're not scraping the cream out, nothing like that. So go ahead, have them out. And then you're also going to need cream cheese. Regular cream cheese is what we use. You're going to use half of a block. This is an eight ounce block, so you need four ounces. So while they're counting cookies, are you, are you counting? Are you counting? Okay. We already, we already counted our cookies. Does it matter if you put one extra or two extra? You know, you can, and, and it's nice because normally the family size, we figured out it has the three sections. Yeah. So two sections are going to be for your truffles. The last section is for you to snack on while you're making it. All right. So, you know, that, it, it works out both ways. So you can snack for, you know, while you're making a snack. That's what I'm talking about. That's right. So, Jack, you, so we have all of our cookies in here. We're going to put it in our food processor. And now it's going to get loud. Go ahead. You're going to put it on <laughs> <laughs> what I normally like to do is put it on high for a little bit. We're going to take it off, and then what will happen is. I don't know if this is it. Yes, we can. Yeah, so some of the cookies are not completely done. Okay. So I like to just. Kind of take, I have a little spatula and just kind of mix them around just a little bit in here just to get, because they get pretty compact in here. Nice. Yeah. Jojo, you don't like the sound of the. <laughs> no, she does not like <laughs> She doesn't like loud things. All right, so now go ahead and hit it again. <laughs> Now we're going to do this again. I think we're at the point where we're going to put this. This is probably the more time consuming part of this. Really? really? To, yeah, we'll have to dissolve what it. What are you going to do? You're going to grind it up? Yep. You want this to be nice and ground up, almost like um, a graham cracker oh. consistency. Oh, okay. Um, so it's going to be like sand. So when you add your cream cheese, it's going to look like wet sand or like, like a mud kind of a thing. Oh. So that way you can form them. Nice. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> this is the worst part for Joanna. I'm sorry. All right, so we're going to take that block of cream cheese. Oh. And it is softened, so this is at this is at room temp. Okay. How long do you have to sit out? Um, I left mine sit out actually overnight because the house is on the cooler side. Mhm. Mm so, but I would say if you're gonna make this in the afternoon, sit out in the morning. Okay. 
Smells good. <laughs> it's like the cream disintegrating. <laughs> Half a block. Yep. And now we're going to pulse again. And this is going to just mix everything together. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Nice. Okay. So when you're watching, um, when you see that it's starting to spin and it has like that dough um, consistency, then you're done. So now we're going to scoop. Miss Joanna, can you give us a pan? Okay, you're gonna make a chocolate dipping. Yes, we are going to. You can you can eat these as I say, make it. Yeah. Um, or we're gonna do a chocolate dip, just because um, that, that makes a nice gift. You can you can make these. You can do them as gifts for somebody. Um, or um, they, they store better that way as well. You wanna roll? But what you would do is you would dip them before you eat them, or you would just like drizzle them on top of them. So we normally dip them before we eat them, mm -hmm. uh, because then it's like it's almost like candy, because then it's you know you, you're biting into like that nice hard uh, shell, top of shell, yeah. Um, and then you have that that nice moist um, cake or cookie type kind of uh, texture in the inside. And about how many do you are you going to get out of that? Um, well, that's it depends on how full and how level they, they start making their scoops. Okay. Um, you'll definitely probably have at least a dozen and a half, if not more. Okay, so that's, that's good. Eight, yeah, so that's eight, out of eight, one eight. pack of a uh, family size Oreos. Yes, yeah. plus you oh. still have leftover cookies that you can use for cookies and milk later on or cookies on your. Making these. That's awesome. Yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Awesome. Um, so yeah. So right now, let's. All right. So y'all gonna finish making, rolling up these balls, yeah. and then you're gonna put them in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And then when we come back, what are you gonna do when we come back? You're gonna show us how to make this, this the uh the dip. Yep. Yeah, so I um I just bought. I live in Pennsylvania, we have Amish everywhere. I went to my local Amish country store, yeah, and I got Wilbur um, melting chocolate. Oh, so if you uh, have your favorite melting chocolate, um, you can get them at Walmart, Target, wherever. Um, it's probably going to be in your baking aisle. You can use any of that. Wilbur has um, a wax in it that helps with the coating process, so it thins it, but then it helps coat it, and it just it's a very good fit for what we're doing. Awesome. Um, and this is not something that you need to use on the boiler for. 
Oh. Like that. See, and that's why it's nice friendly. That sounds good. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna form our balls. You know what? I think we're probably gonna get about maybe fifteen. It looks like. Okay. <laughs> so, but we'll do that. I think what we'll do then is we might mute ourselves so we can do the mid one, so we're not pulsing all against time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, and then when we are all ready, then we'll come back to do the, the dipping. All right. Right. So, All right, let me so see good. here. Great. You can just change the spotlight back. I'm changing it right now. <laughs> awesome. They look good. I can't wait to try them. <laughs> All right, so let's go over all of our supplies that we need for painting. A nice, simple, little, easy painting today. I just have my five primary colors, red, yellow, blue, black, and white. We'll probably need more white than anything. Uh, we have a, I just have a um, 11 by 14 canvas. Of course, you could do this on any size canvas you want. I'm gonna use three brushes today. You can use a half inch or a one inch wide brush, flat brush, wash brush, a medium round, and then that little tiny brush for those little details cup of water to rinse, paper towels to dry, just a sip of water for me, get that out of the way. So today I'm gonna to have you, what we're, what we're gonna do is just kind of flood your canvas with white. So for the very first step is just rinse and dry. So we're gonna do some wet on wet blending. So you're just rinsing and drying that large brush. We're gonna start with that large flat brush, whether it's a half inch or a one inch. Okay. Okay, and I just want you to coat your painting, your whole canvas, in white to start. So you can oh, you're be, gonna coat it white? Yeah, we're gonna be generous with this. So I may need some more of that. Even if you use a little bit of water with that white, it's fine. So well, that's pretty simple to start. Easy start. It's and gonna, you just have water. You don't have anything else to drink. I just have water. Oh. Yeah, I think the. I think the screwball last night gave me a little headache, so, you know. <laughs> You said the screwball last oh, night gave you a little headache. So if you guys want to go back and do, uh, we did the Ruby slippers last night. We had a lot of fun, a lot of chatting, a lot of laughing, a lot of insights. A lot of drinking. A lot of insights on uh, Mark's view of the Wicked Witch, which is not wicked. Uh, <laughs> we had a great time last night. Yes, we did. We had so, fun. Again, I'm just coating this whole thing in white for right now. And you're going to do these horizontal brush strokes? It actually doesn't even matter how you... Uh, oh, just, just... We just want to get some white paint on slather it. Slather it in white. Slathering in white to okay. start, okay? That's okay. the very first step. And then we'll, uh, we'll kind of get started. For those that are painting with us, just give us a little thumbs up when you've got that... Um... When you got your canvas slathered with white. <laughs> slathered. <laughs> I know that some people kind of struggle with the uh, what? with the blending. So I wanted to kind of make it a little bit easier, I think, on people. So the point is we really don't want this to dry too much. So we're working quickly to get that background uh, built in. Okay, but they don't have to rush, do they? No, but you do want to keep, you know, we want to keep, keep moving. Wet. Right. We want it to sort of be wet when we're starting to blend. So. Well, that's why you're slathering it on there. That's why we're kind of slathering. Okay. Right. <laughs> yep. Yep. So, in fact, I'm just going to start telling you what to do next so that it doesn't dry on anybody. Yeah, well, Aaron, Aaron's got thumbs up. Thumbs up. Good job, right. girl. Good job. So, what are we going to have you do? Same brush. We're not rinsing and drying. Okay, we want you to keep that white on there. We still want to keep a lot of white. I'm still going to take another, let's say, a corner of white, and then a, let's say a tiny little corner of blue. So the smaller the amount of the paint that you have of the color, the more pale or pastel you're going to get, okay? So we're just going to start kind of brushing that in and blending into the background. We want real light, pale, muted colors. Okay. So let's get some blue there. I'm just grabbing another little touch of blue. But you're going like on an angle. It doesn't matter actually. So you, so it's kind of like those X's. So down and over, down and over. Okay. That's how we're just gonna sort of keep blending that in. 
So you're just going to go to the next color. You can rinse and dry if you want to. I prefer to like just keep going with it. So okay. I'm just going to grab again, nice big corner of my white. I'm going to take a little tiny corner of that red, little tiny bit at a time. And again, we'll just kind of keep brushing it in there. Awesome. Okay, so you can kind of blend this in as much as you want. You're going to make other colors. We're going to make some purple when we get into our blues. So just a little tiny bit of those colors at a time. I am just so excited that we decided to do this live on YouTube. <laughs> it's there now, right? Isn't I mean, cool? we're coming out here with the two sweetie pies on a, you know, our first time on YouTube is with two sweetie pies. <laughs> we, we, we had planned something completely different to do our anniversary yeah, we're as gonna our do first that live too. on YouTube. Yeah, but you know what? And we Might decided, well you know what, this, this is much more there. special. So we're just going to do it like this. So I'm going to do the same thing with the yellow, okay? I didn't even rinse or dry. Just that nice big corner of white, a little corner of yellow. Same thing. I'm just kind of brushing and blending. Brushing and blending. You make it a little bit of orange. You make it a little bit of green in there. Okay. <laughs> I hear the mint is coming. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> So this is really Louder. all we have. So, so this is really all we have to part one of getting our background in there. All right. That's about it. Um, the pastel colors. Yep, your pastel pale muted colors. If you have another canvas and you want to do another one, you can just keep going, right? It's just like so easy, so awesome. But yeah, you can make it as bright as you want, as light as you want. This is awesome. You got some oranges in there. Nice, pretty pastels. I don't know. Can you see that in the light, the colors? Uh, barely, barely. Barely, yeah. Okay, I was going to say. Like, if I back out. You're not going to see it if you back out. No, can't see it, but I have it all the way up. Yeah. You can see it. Like, I'm really right up on it right now. You can barely see the pastel colors. I'm going to back out a little bit more. Back out a little I bit. I see how more. wet it is. Yeah. So we're going to want to give it a minute to uh, to dry. So actually, we'll give it a couple minutes to dry. So while we're letting this dry and while two sweetie pies are working on batch number two, let's go over a couple of our upcoming events and we can show you that. And then okay. we'll head back upstairs to uh, to watch them dip some of their truffles. <laughs> yes. Well, we've got um, uh, the next thing we have coming up is March the 23rd. Tuesday, yes. self care workers, uh, self care social workers day. We're going to be doing a spring bike. Here, let me yes. back out so they can see that. There you go. That's right there yes. to the left side. Okay, that's going to be on Zoom. It's ten dollars. All right, we uh we remember our social workers because um, when we when we got started for our anniversary, which is yes. uh, on the nineteenth. What we first started was a, a couple of um, private events sessions. Or, or private no, it wasn't really yeah. private, but but well, we, we did, did it with the, the social, social workers. workers. Yep, we did. That's how we got our start. Um, coming up March the 25th, we got a big weekend coming up. Yes. March the 25th, uh, self-care Thursday, 7 p.m. start time. We'll be doing a spring bunny. Spring bunny's right there, up, right above the bike. Yep. Okay, but then the big, big night is tomorrow, uh, the, the next day after that, March the 26th, 7 p.m. Eastern Start Time, we'll be doing our, our anniversary party. Oh, uh, yeah. And there's the streamers and balloons right there next to the bunny. We're going to paint something simple like that because we're going to have a lot of prizes, um, a lot of trivia. We're going to do trivia about us, about mimosas and masterpieces, about our family, See who's been paying attention as we uh, chat live with you guys. Yeah, and basically, we want to celebrate with you because it's you who made us what we are. That's right. It is a celebration of all of you guys. So we appreciate everybody that's been with us for the past, well, more than a year. But the past year that we've been virtual, we have gained so many friends and follows. Um, it's all about you guys. And we thank yep. you all for that. We made a lot of friends over the year. And, uh, and sure. especially Laura Sullivan and Jamie Marie, who are the viewers who came up with 
what we were going to paint That's right. and how we were going to celebrate. <laughs> we want to thank you very much. Um, then after that, April 2nd, no, Thursday, uh, okay. April 1st, say Thursday, April 1st, we're doing Sipping in the Sunset. Yes, that's down here. Sipping in the Sunset is all the way down there at the bottom. See Jennifer pointing at it. That's going to be an 8 p.m. start time right on Facebook. Yep. All right, that's Thursday, April 1st. Friday, April 2nd, we have another fundraiser on Zoom, T-Rex. That's right there next to the bike. Who are we raising funds for again? So it's for a friend of mine, one of the Dynamite entrepreneurs, um, another business mom out there, Noelle, her cancer has returned. So we are trying to raise funds for um, some of her medical expenses. Awesome. All right, uh, Saturday. April 3rd, as, see, as you see, another busy weekend. <laughs> Saturday, April 3rd is our big Girl Scout cookie pop art. Oh, over there. Uh, what do we got to call it? We got to come up with a name for that. Cookie the, pop the art. Cookie pop art blast or <laughs> something. Because we're going to have Party. all the Girl Scouts that we can get to join us on April 3rd. Pop from art across the Party. nation. Because uh, we do a lot of projects for Girl Scouts. Yeah. Um, and we we reached out to a lot of them and said they could join us on April 3rd for the Cookie Pop Art session that we'll be doing. And we also reached out to the guide girls in Canada. All right, we didn't want to uh we didn't want to um not include them. Okay. And um we're trying to see how many we can accumulate to uh join us for that day, hoping to break some kind of record. So yeah, that that's uh, what we got coming up. Uh, as far as to the beginning of April. Well, let me just add, uh, Friday, April 9th at 8 p.m., we're going to have our first resin pour tray workshop on Zoom. Uh, the way things are going, it might end up on uh, YouTube. Uh, we'll see. But our first resin pour tray workshop will be on Zoom. Uh, that's okay. almost sold out, isn't it? The we only resin got a few tray, spots yes, left for that. Yes, there's only three I have left now. Um, if you are interested in that, you can um, private message us, and I'll let, get back to you with what I have left. Um, but we will post another one. We just want to get through the first one, make sure we have no issues, <laughs> and then we will uh, we'll go back to uh, we'll, we'll post another one in May. But the resin is beautiful. You have to make. I really encourage anybody that's. First of all, if you're allergic or really sensitive to anything, this may not be the event for you to do. Um, I am personally allergic to it, so I try to be as careful as I can, but I still, you know, may have an allergic reaction to it. But we send you a little PPE bag, like you're getting your a mask, you're getting two masks, you're getting a, two at least two sets of gloves, you're getting an apron. Um, so it's really sticky. It's, it's easy to work with, but it's, it's very sticky, It's uh, it, but it's beautiful. So we just want to continue doing it. That's what we ended our 2019 with, um, doing, in, in, doing, the resin. doing the resin pours in workshops. Um, but yeah, then 2020 hit. <laughs> so well, I moved the camera up to the otter. Uh, yes. Okay, because that's when we're going to be returning to the Lehigh Valley Zoo, yes. May 1st, Saturday. 10 30 a.m start time we'll be right. painting the river otter and we'll be painting within the river otters uh exhibit yes in their habitat in their habitat okay the weather should be nicer and we're going to have a lot of fun painting with the otters around right by okay yeah so please think about joining us for the uh lehigh valley zoo that's on zoom that is on well that is, that's the plan, but we may remember because they're, the Wi-Fi issues are just really difficult there. Right. We may end we up just, just needing to record it. So there will be 15 spots to be in person with us. Right. Uh, which will sell us tickets. And then, uh, and then we'll probably just sell the recording of it because the Wi-Fi is so super spotty out there. It's so, it was so hard to keep the connection. Will that be, will so, that also apply to the sloth that yes, we're going to be revisiting most, at the zoo? Um, that will be June the 6th at 12.30 uh, p.m. Eastern time. That's when we're going to be doing this sloth. We can, the we can try Zoom. again and do that one live. I think we can do that one live because we'll be in the room. Okay. Um, but I think being in the exhibit is going to create its own challenges with that. Uh, the, the last thing I got to <laughs> say is that, that, that painting right up there in the right-hand corner, 
that's the last one I'm going to mention. That's May the 5th, Cinco de Mayo. All right. That's going to be what, 8 p.m., 7 p.m.? Uh, 8 p.m. 8, 8 p.m. start time. We're painting the, uh, what is that, a margarita and the taco? Yeah, margarita, taco, lime. All right. That's for Cinco de Mayo. But that's you have Wednesday, to mention May the 5th. my villains that everybody was asking about oh well i don't see anything written on here about the villains where are the villains at really i'm sorry let me go down let me go down the villains right there next to the girl scout cookies okay we have a date one. set for the villains we do but i thought i printed you a new one sorry this is the old one hold on All the right. villains is uh oh may the 8th saturday May the 8th, we're doing these villains, the pop art, 8 p.m. Eastern time. There's a lot of people clamoring for that. <laughs> There's a lot of people that are the ones that suggested this. Yeah. So we're going to bring I'll that up on May the guys. 8th. We're going to start doing the villains. All right. I think we... You think we're ready? I think we're ready. I think we're going to... Let's check back in with... We're going to check back in upstairs with the two sweetie pies. Two sweetie pies. You guys okay to do your chocolate? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you're watching. They're, they're getting back into they're getting back into position. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys okay for chocolate? They're muted. So I gotta go upstairs and unmute them. <laughs> but we can Are you add the spotlight. Us? What's that? Are you talking to us? Yes. yes. Oh yeah, we're ready. You good? Uh, oh, they're ready. Chocolate. They're ready for chocolate. All right, let me go up there and uh Sounds let me go good. up there and um unmute them. Alrighty. All right, we're ready. There we go. All right. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, let's see. so we used about um yeah two cups of chocolate and uh one two three two cups of chocolate and now we're just gonna heat it. It's okay. <laughs> we're gonna do thirty second increments because you don't wanna leave it in too long or you will scorch your chocolate. Oh and then if you scorch your chocolate. Yes, please. We don't really have much. Uh, well, first of all, first of all, right, but first of all, where do people see you? Uh, Facebook at Two Sweetie Pies. Um, this, well, mine's not really. This is our logo. That's what they got to look for when That's they look for Two look Sweetie for. Pies. That's right. And I think our, I know our email address is Two Sweetie Pies 17048, which is our code. Okay. At gmail.com. At um, gmail. Yep, we have an email. We're working on other sites and um, and a website. Well, when do you usually come on? When do you usually have? Uh, um, you know how I'm reason right now because I work for a local hospital. Yeah. And I don't, I don't get home until seven p.m. Okay. Um, but we are planning to do every other Saturday. All right. Probably around two p.m. Um, and we're going to start doing some kid-friendly stuff. Okay. Um, the only thing is that we did do was a Valentine's Day dinner that I had to do solo. Oh. <laughs> because my kids were, uh, were away. Okay. So I made, um, 
cheesecake, mini cheesecake, and dinner for them. They were so, very good. So when they came home, <laughs> they had all that. That was my Valentine's Day. Um, right? The yeah. sparkling grape juice. Yeah. Now, when you when you do a when you do a session and you make something together, mm -hmm. uh, is there a video afterwards on your page? Um, yeah. So we do save it. It is. It can be found on our page. And people um, can go look at the video and make whatever it is that you make during that time. Right. So right now, because we are so new to all this, we have a little group. Now we have a regular page, and we have two two videos. Okay. Who we are. Okay. Um, but I've been baking all my life. Um, I've been trying to teach the girls how to bake. Yes. So that's all. Really <laughs> it's very fun. Yes. Now, uh, if people want to, people want to look for you and they want to, they want to join you and bake with you. Um, they just have to come to your page to Sweetie Pies. Yeah. And then that way they'll know whether you have something coming up or you have something that's going to be yeah. uh, interesting that you're going to cook or you're going to bake or you're going to make. Right. And what we're going to start doing is, um, different things that I have made in the past. I'm going to have pictures and recipes. So um, they can see what it looks like, and they can try the recipe for themselves. That's awesome. Um, then later on, we can try and do um, like a bake along, kind of like we're doing today. Yes. Um. So the idea right now is when we want to do a couple kid friendly things. Uh, Jacqueline makes a a mean edible cookie dough. Okay. <laughs> I she has memorized because she's made us go up. Um. <laughs> So we're gonna try and do some of those things. I know upcoming we wanna try and do um a story time with a snack. That's nice. Yeah. So uh we're gonna have that. And we just have a lot of ideas. You just need to iron out these. Okay. Um, so yeah. All right. So I That think sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, it, it, it's probably you no. Know, we're not as set as, as you guys are, but Well you gotta keep going. When we first started we were using a little phone. And uh, you know, we had a makeshift microphone. Uh, we we had a lot of things that we had that we had oh, to keep working on. Now. Yeah, right. just take your time. So thirty second increments, and now this is nice and. Oh. So. So you didn't burn it or scorch it. No, and that's that's the key. The key is to do it in those thirty second second increments and stir it. Like even though, like she said, I did the first time I stirred it. She's like, that didn't melt. Came off. It came off. But you know what? It's fine. Look at that. Oh, oh, there God. it is. I don't <laughs> my chocolate my come off a little bit when it goes off. And then all we're going to do is we're going to bring it over. You're going to turn it a little bit. And maybe if it doesn't come off, just take another skewer and Now, see how there it came up a little bit? Yeah. Fix that. Uh, Take your stirrer. And you're going to paint a little bit of chocolate on top of that. Okay. Oh. Okay. And then, oh, we're using these. While your chocolate is wet, yeah. you're just going to take, we're doing color coding because we have some time. So paint is going to be the regular. Okay. So we're just going to take and. 
Um, you can use other kinds of dipping chocolates and stuff like that and do, you know, your little zigzags and stuff. I like to do sprinkles just because you can add whatever color you want. Um, it's not, it doesn't add a lot of sweetness to it. All right. Um, and I mean, you can find all kinds of different uh, sprinkles out there. It's for holidays and stuff. You know, you can do three for St. Patrick's Day. You can do pink, blue, and purple, and yellows for, for Easter. Awesome. Do, green, green, green and red for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. You know what would be cool if you shake these like eggs and then like colors them? Oh, like, like mm, for like Easter. Egg. Yeah, like Easter, Easter. Easter eggs. Yeah. And then you could uh, or your kids, paint. your kids like paint them for Easter, like the giant eggs. You could. That's yeah. another great idea. Because they do one. make different colors. Um, <laughs> Like Maybe y'all can plan a show for that. Yeah, we'll have to try that. <laughs> Actually, we have something that we spoke, I spoke to Jennifer about. It was a kind of a, a painting with food on a graham cracker. Huh? Whoa. That, that might be a summer Whoa. thing. Okay. So, well, you heard it here first. We're <laughs> always thinking outside the box. We want to do things that people have never thought of yeah. or never tried to do. Oh, you can go ahead and do that. Here, hi. Sprinkle them up. <laughs> yeah, get the sprinkles on there. That's great. <laughs> All right, so that's kind of where we're at right now. Oh, I still want to miss a little bit. If you miss a spot, like this one I had, I didn't get it completely. Yeah. All right. Does that make your scratch one paint? Mm -hmm. So this is paint and bake, you know? So right, exactly. My family aren't going to look like your truffles. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and your truffles are not going to look like my truffles. That's right. So, <laughs> but they're both going to taste delicious. So, yeah. All right. So, we're just going to finish these up and then we're going to finish the mint ones up, clean everything up, and then we'll be back with the pizza waffles. Whoa. Pizza waffles? Yes. Sounds oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Nice. Told you Mark's gonna get his exercise today. He's running up and down those stairs. <laughs> All right. They look awesome. Can't yeah, wait to try they them. They do. Re spotlight. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's finish up our cupcake. This is awesome. I love it. Okay. So I'm gonna work with that medium round brush now. So I'm gonna rinse and dry. Rinsing and drying. Medium round brush. Medium round brush. Yep. Nice. So you can make yours whatever colors you want to. I like rainbow colors, of course, for today. So I'm going to start with just grabbing a tiny bit of my red. I'm going to start with the bottom part of my cupcake liner here. I'm so, zooming in. Awesome. So I'm, I'm slightly down from the center. So if I want my cupcake centered, I'm going to work in, down in this bottom half area here. So we don't want quite a straight line. We sort of want it on a slight angle. So give me about maybe a two, three inch line. How's that? About three inches. You can kind of work over that a few times so you get that on a little angle. Okay. That's pretty thick. Well, we're going to actually do a couple of lines like that. So I'm going to start to curve around the bottom just a little. Instead of coming straight across, we're going to curve it. Okay. So, and then we're just going to kind of work that right in there, just doing some stripes. So just going up and down with the red. So nice. we have about maybe an inch worth of that red color. Maybe a little bit more. Let's do a little bit more than an inch. A little bit more than an inch. And I'm just working from that curved bottom section. So we have that curved bottom working my way. So it's kind of turning a little bit pink. And then I'm not even going to rinse and dry this brush. I'm just going to grab yellow because we're going to start to make some orange. 
So about halfway through, so we have about maybe an inch, a little bit more than an inch, about halfway in there, we're gonna to start to press that yellow in there. So it's gonna kind of start to turn a little orange. Once we kind of get that base of color in there, so you know where we're going, you can go over with the colors again if you want to. So we have that red, we started using yellow, so we now have some orange in there. And around the top, I'm not making it super smooth because once I put my, my icing on my cupcake, it's, it'll smooth itself out. So don't worry about how this top portion looks. All right, so I'm gonna just keep going with that yellow. You can rinse and dry if you want to a bit just to take some of that red off of there. And then continue with uh, bringing that bottom of our cupcake liner around. Okay. And that curved motion there. Mm -hmm. And then let's do another about an inch of yellow. So this is going to be our yellow and it's going to go into our green because we're going to overlap blue over it. Okay. Okay. So I'm just pulling up right from the bottom. Just pulling up from the bottom. Yeah, that's all. And again, you can always make this a little bit bigger. You can always go back over it. So no worries. Easy, nice, easy little project today. It's a nice way to do a Saturday afternoon. Yeah, nice little Saturday afternoon. Have some treats made. I really can't wait to try the pizza waffles. <laughs> yeah, they're going to come when we come back. We're going to do, <laughs> gonna pizza, do waffles. pizza waffles. Those are going to be a little bit longer. So we figured, well, you know, we'll let them get themselves situated and cleaned up. We'll have plenty of time to do this and then we'll finish Absolutely. off with your pizza waffles. All right, the next color I'll grab, I, I'm gonna rinse and dry this time, is um, is blue. So about halfway from that yellow into that yellow, I'm gonna start bringing that blue up so we can kind of move that up. And then just start kind of pulling that blue up. And as we overlap that yellow, you're gonna get green. Okay. Okay. Rinse and dry once you get through that yellow. Uh, he found his mic and Ike's. I found him. Uh huh. And Couldn't find him before. <laughs> and then I'm going to grab the blue. So just the blue. We'll finish off that diagonal on this side. So you can kind of play with this until you're happy with your shape. I don't know. I'm still, I'm still knocked out Why? because I'm looking at the screen. Yeah. And I see live on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we said we were gonna try and do. Figured it was an option, so might as well give it a shot, right? Well, this is a historic event. <laughs> We want to thank the people that have joined us to paint tonight. Yeah, thank you guys. Because this is a historic event. We didn't plan it. We just did it at the spur of the moment. That's right. For me, this is history. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of keep going back around here to sort of soften up these edges, kind of edge them out a little bit more, make sure that we're kind of a, a little uniform. Now, I haven't checked YouTube to okay. see if anybody else is watching. Oh, but I just have a good feeling that good. this is what it's going to take to get us over the 4,000 hours. Yes. <laughs> you know, so we can get monetized on YouTube. And we can focus on getting more subscribers. I'm looking forward to doing live things on YouTube. Yes. I think we'll get a lot more subscribers that way. And we'll be able to, um, we'll be able to invite way more people 
to join our viewers in painting things. All right, we got some orange in there. So I'm just kind of going over again with some of those colors. It can kind of bring this up a little bit more. Okay. We're just doing those little brush strokes, little lines up toward where we're going to have our uh, frosting. Our frosting uh, of our cupcake. Yep. There's been a lot of sweets today. Oh, uh, listen. <laughs> Everybody, we started off this morning with her waking me up out of the bed and telling me to go to the local bakery shop <laughs> and pick up some things that she ordered. You guys. And when I got there, <laughs> the line was all the way around the building and in the back where the park in the parking lot. So I had to stand for about, I'd say, 45 minutes to an hour and get in there and pick up her, her uh, pick up her, um, her order. order. <laughs> now, mind you, when I got inside, finally, uh, the lady who runs the place said, oh, you didn't have to wait outside all of that time. You could have just came in and got your order. And I was like, I wouldn't dare. There was people standing <laughs> online for hours, for about an hour, they would stand there. So what I look like, walking right up in there saying, I got an order. I'm sorry, I stood online. Uh, <laughs> well, that's good to know, though, for next time. I didn't know that you could do that. I thought you had to stand in line. Yeah, I thought I, that's what I thought, too. That's what I said. Even if I didn't have to stand online, I'd feel guilty. Yeah, right. Walking up in front of all these people that are standing, the line was so long well, yeah. this morning. Awesome, okay. Though. Then we got the two sweetie pies making. Yes. What do you call these things? <laughs> Truffles. Confectionery treats. Yeah. Truffles. You call them confectionery <laughs> treats. Mark likes to make bougie words for things. <laughs> My Nespresso is hoity-toity coffee now. Yeah, hoity-toity. I asked him one time for, <laughs> I asked him one time if he ever had a Toblerone, and he's like, what is that? I was like, you've never had a Toblerone? Nope. So I was trying to explain what it is, and he's like, oh, I have to look for these hoity-toity chocolates that you like. Mm -hmm. I like those, and I like the coconut vanilla, I don't know, Rocher or Ferrero Rocher. Or things. <laughs> he's like, oh, hoity-toity chocolates. I think of. <laughs> All of the things I think of are escaping me right now, but um, <laughs> yeah, Hoity Toity is one of them. <laughs> yeah, she likes those special, she likes those specialty type, uh, that's what I said, confectionery, <laughs> a confectionery treat. Confectionery treat, <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. We got the two sweetie pies making us some <laughs> treats upstairs. I love it. So cool. All right. How are you guys doing with your uh, your cupcake liner? Uh, I think everybody's doing pretty good. I'm yep, gonna, I see thumbs up. Awesome. Another thumbs up. I'm going to rinse and dry. Do you want, us, do you want us to show our truffles real quick? Sure. sure. All right, go ahead, Zach. Go All ahead. right, we're going to switch over to truffles. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Yummy. All right, so nobody's going to eat a truffle? <laughs> All right, so truffles are ready. Yum. That was fast. No, they're not. All right, All right so they're going to make another bag. Cool. Cool. All right, and then we're going to eat after we make those uh, Woo -woo. after we make those um, waffle, pizza waffles. Yeah, you have to pre- Pre, uh, what is it? Warm the iron, right? Warm the waffle iron. Yeah, they're gonna still make another batch of truffles, so you can could continue on. Okay, well, I don't have that long to go. <laughs> really? No. Well, okay. I don't think they have that long to go either. All right, so I'm gonna just grab some white, and we're just gonna do a couple of those uh, some lines in our cupcake liner with the white. Light strokes. Yeah, light brush strokes of white. I'm gonna kind of concentrate that bright brightness, more white in the center of it. Okay. So where that yellow is, is nice and bright. Just a couple of those little brush strokes. <laughs> All right. And then I'm just going to do right here 
right across the bottom of the yellow, a little bit, a little uh, curved line along the bottom of that cupcake liner. Nice. And I'll rinse and dry. And then we'll start our, uh, our frosting. All right. Yay. I'm gonna go ahead and mix my purple this time. So I wanna mix a light purple. I'm gonna take a little bit of my blue, yeah. a little bit of my red, it's usually equal parts of each, and mix for the purple. But I'm also gonna add a little scoop of white to lighten it up. So we, we're working with those nice pastel, bright pastel colors. Cool. So you'll mix to the purple that you like this is kind of blue, so let me add a little bit of red to it. All right. And for this part, it's actually good. So sometimes I'll have you rinse and dry your brush to get it to a point. Yeah. In this case, we kind of want your brush nice and loaded with that paint. So see how much paint's on that brush? It's nice yeah. and loaded. This is a great way to make your frosting on your cupcake. Okay, so I'm gonna come on either side and we're gonna almost make like parentheses on either side. All right, so use the brush, lay it oh. down. Lay it down on this side, okay? I like lots of frosting on my cupcake. I know. And then we're gonna come <laughs> right down across the front, okay? Right down across. We'll kind of lay it down, coming in a curve. We want it to come right down over that cupcake liner. Nice. And let's finish this <laughs> layer off. <coughs> so we have that nice long layer of purple frosting. Hey, they have masks down here. Uh, they are on the table. Oh, okay. Nope. Wrong. No, they're over here on this table. They're back there in that corner somewhere. Which table? All the way in the corner. Oh. <laughs> yes, I was packing the kits and I needed those. There you go. So we'll do the same thing with our blue, okay? I'm gonna mix a light blue. So a little scoop of blue, a little scoop of white for a light blue color. You'll rinse and dry in between the colors if I didn't say that, sorry. Rinse and dry, and then a little scoop of blue, a little scoop of white. Load up that brush while mixing, and we'll do our next layer of color. We just want to make this one a little bit smaller, so it's going to come in a little bit more this time. Okay, start with those parentheses. I'm going to overlap that purple a little. Okay. Come right over that edge. You're gonna pull some of that purple up and that's okay. perfect because it's blending those colors. She ain't ready yet, but she's almost. Okay, you're fine. We got a couple of minutes here to do. No okay. worries, you're fine. All right, so you're sort of blending those colors together there. Rinse and dry. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Oh uh, no. Right now we're having a live. I, I'll talk to you later. We're live. <laughs> All right. Turn the okay. All right. My next color that I'm going to do is a light yellow. We're going to do light yellow because <coughs> it's going to turn into green. <laughs> Yeah, right over there? Yeah, it's the dog. The dog was down here last night, so it's dog hair everywhere. And, uh, okay. Clogging up. Scoop of white, scoop of yellow. So we have a nice light yellow going. Again, we're going to load up that brush. Again, next layer is going to be smaller. Okay, so that parenthesis on this side, parenthesis on this side. 
Yeah. Come right down around the bottom. And we're going to start to kind of blend over and bring up just a little bit of that blue into the yellow. So it's going to turn a little bit of green. Okay. But we're going to leave the rest kind of yellow. So we've got some yellow in there, some green in there. It's lots of frosting, please. Yes, you got lots of frosting on this guy, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> I got just as much frosting as there is cupcake. Seriously. <laughs> and I think it was Tara that taught me about the cupcake sandwich that I never realized before. Wait a minute, I never even heard of it. Listen, before. so all you do when you take the wrapper, you know how hard it is to eat a cupcake like that? Yes. Like you get frosting all over you and then there's always like nothing left on the bottom. Yeah. So when you take the wrapper off, you pull the bottom part of the cupcake off and you put it on top of the frosting and you make a cupcake sandwich. So oh. you have cake on top and bottom and the frosting is in the middle. Okay, that's pretty cool. Right? I think it's I would never I never thought of anything genius. like that. <laughs> but when you said cupcake sandwich, I thought he was gonna say, Let's get another cupcake, squeeze them together. Oh my goodness. Can't get that cupcake in your mouth to begin with. <laughs> I didn't even think he was, yeah, I know, but still, that's a cupcake sandwich. That's what oh came gosh. to my mind when you said that. I didn't realize you was going to say chop off the bottom <laughs> part of the cupcake and put oh that on Oh, my gosh. Top. All right, let's do orange next. Orange next, we're going to take this light yellow that we made. We're going to take a tiny bit of red to that. Just a tiny bit of red is going to turn that orange. Loading up that brush. Again, I'm just rinsing and drying in between my colors. Yeah, so today is a Saturday that has been full of sweets and treats so far. <laughs> we started off going to, uh, what was that place? Simply, Simply Sweets? Simply Sweets, yeah. That's in Hillsboro, New Jersey. That's right. She is part of our Mimosa marketing group. That's right. And she makes the most divine treats. <laughs> then we've got the treat makers from Pennsylvania. Yeah. The two sweetie pies <laughs> making treats here in our home coming to spend the week with us, this weekend with us. Rinsing and drying after that layer of orange. You're doing those two little parentheses, making it smaller as we come in, blending at the bottom. And now Jennifer has our viewers painting a cupcake. <laughs> <sighs> That's right. Now, all I could think of is we don't have, well, we got the treats that the Sweetie Pies are making. Yes. But uh, other than that, we don't have anything else like cupcakes or cake or something like that no, for the rest of the weekend. No, we don't. And you know me, I like to have my cupcakes or my cake or some some kind of... Well, I'm sure there's a store right down the road and I'm sure two sweetie pies can probably help you with that. I can get me some drinks, <laughs> double dogs. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, last color after we rinse and dry for our final little top here. It's almost It's almost looking like a cherry. Blending in the bottom into that orange. Cherry frosting. And bringing her up. And you could do a little, little tip on top if you want it. Like a little point up little there. Cherry frosting on the top. A little point on top there. A little rainbow frosting. Just kind of blending some of that red into the orange. That looks fun. I like it. gonna rinse and dry after we get that little tip in there oh see my finger took away some of these little lines down here <laughs> whoopsies <laughs> yeah i'm digging the two sweetie pies they are awesome <laughs> our next step up gonna grab a little bit of white on there Let's add a little highlight to our, our cupcake. Frosting. Yep. So I'm going to come down the left side of every one of these. Okay. So swoop down the left side. I'm not going to rinse and dry. I'm going to keep this because I want to kind of bring some of those rainbow colors down in. Okay. Just grabbing a little bit of white every time I come down. Okay. Let's 
same thing. I'm just gonna grab a little bit more of that white and then I'm gonna blend right over the center. We're gonna brush some of that white right down over the center of each layer of frosting. And you can rinse and dry in between each layer here. Just kind of keep bringing it right up. Just follow those little curves all the way down. So Mr. Aiden says that he's going to taste test Ooh. all of the, the things truffles. they make upstairs <laughs> after the two sweetie pies taste. Aiden, I was going to say. We're ready up here when you guys are. Yay. Okay. okay. Well, we're almost there. Almost there. So you guys can kind of finish up while they're working on uh, pizza waffles. We'll give you the last couple of steps here. It's really just taking all those colors that you just made. Yes. And doing your your lettering happiness is homemade or whatever whatever whatever, whatever you, you want to with. right whatever you want to come up with and then it is just taking your tiny fine line brush and i'm going to just grab some black and give a give our cupcake a little bit of a slight outline, outline okay you don't have to outline it either if you don't want to okay there's no no rule that says you need to outline right i'm gonna just slightly on the right side of each one of these as i come down i'm gonna sort of put that idea back in there that this is a little layer here so i'm going to kind of pull some of that darkness over and under each one of these layers okay I don't know if you could see that so kind of bring it down and over and under just a little to give that idea back that it's a layer of that cupcake. Nice. Okay. Bring that down around. And then let's come down and around the bottom of our liner. And then you can really just kind of play with those letterings and everything when you're uh, while we're watching uh, pizza waffles, yum. Coming down and around, giving these guys a little bit of this a- This is all new to me. Okay. I've heard of pizza muffins. I've heard of pizza <laughs> bagels. Um, I've heard of uh, mini pizzas. Okay, but never pizza waffles. <laughs> that makes more sense. Because waffles have those divots yeah, exactly. Pockets. She's going to give you some ideas up there. And the grilled cheese tomato soup idea is pretty amazing. Whoa. I'm going to add a couple of little uh, brush strokes of black in my cupcake liner too on the sides, just on the, so, just on the so edges. Good. And I think that's about it. All that's left is your happiness is homemade or your lettering. Um, if you feel more comfortable, write it out with pencil first. And then you can go back over it with your your writing uh, with you your paint. Put, love is a cupcake. Love is a cupcake. You could. I'm gonna write two sweetie pies. Okay. All right. So, so are we ready? So we can go ahead and switch up and we're gonna switch upstairs and we're gonna have them. pizza waffles and then we're gonna have uh, the sweetie pies through the taste test of yes. Mr. Aiden. Let's see how it I comes think out. That'll be great. All right, so we're going to transition. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, no. Gotta go back downstairs. Technical difficulties. No. Nope. Uh, I could do it. Go ahead, spotlight him, please. Um, replace spotlight. There we go. Hey, there we are. There we are. All right. So we are doing 
pizza waffle. This is a great snack. You don't have to use the stove, the oven. You can literally put it together in just a few minutes and it's very versatile. So if you don't like pizza per se, because Miss Joanna here does not, mm -hmm. you can make other things. So how about if we do ham and cheese? Okay. <laughs> so we have um, a block of mozzarella cheese mm -hmm. that we just kind of cut up into chunks. So go ahead and put your and what we did is um it brand. So hold up. Pillsbury has brand um biscuit. Okay. So we like the butter tasting ones because it just adds a little buttery taste to it. So what you're gonna do is each waffle is two piece two biscuits. So what you're gonna do <laughs> wow. so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one out and you're gonna just take and like flatten it out a little bit. Okay. okay. And that's gonna give you a little more uh space or area for your toppings. So let's take this one. Not too flat. No. Well, yeah, not too flat. You don't want it to be too thin, or then you're gonna have a ripping all you're gonna rip it and then all your stuff is gonna come out and you're gonna be sad. Oh. So Miss Joanne is gonna put um a piece. It's about an inch by inch piece. You cut them out? Uh this is mozzarella, yep. Um I like this cheese because it is um, the melty and it has good stretch. Too much ma'am. <laughs> she is my cheese lover. <laughs> so here, how about that? So we do that. Okay? So, and then we just have from the local deli, we just have honey ham. We like a little sweet ham. So just kind of, here's your piece. I just fold it in thirds. Yes, yeah, nice and thin cut. Yeah, this is thin cut. And can't you add like pepperoni? You can, make, you, want. you can make this however you want. So what we're gonna do is we'll do mm. this one because Joanna doesn't like pizza and then we'll make a pizza one. Okay. So, okay. so now we're gonna put the top layer on. I call this the pepperoni steak. Yes. <laughs> and you're gonna take all the edges and kind of put them together nice. Like a pie. So all right. Like, it looks like a pierogi. Yeah. It's, like a pie. It is. It's like or like a like a turnover kind of a thing. Now we took our Oh, good. <laughs> so we have our uh, waffle maker already preheated, and then all you're gonna oh. do is, so you can see this is probably about as big as my my palm. Okay. So That's you're going to take that, and what I'm gonna do is, if you want to, you can put it in like this one has four. If you want to put it in like that, you can. I'm going to put mine right in the center. Because that is then going to give us four equal pockets. Okay. And then just put it down and let it do its magic. Now, while you guys were down there finishing up the cupcake, we did, however, make one. That's a waffle. That's a this waffle. This is the finished product. Pizza this, waffle. This has pepperoni and mozzarella cheese in it. Whoa. And as you can see, because I had it in the middle, see how we have those lines? Yes. So I just easily was able to just go ahead and take a piece of cutter and go ahead and cut it. And oh. then it's nice and easy. Oh. And then there you go. So there's the pepperoni and the cheese is in there. That's a pizza waffle. That is the pizza waffle. So, Mr. Ada, would you like to come back here and you can take a test? Now, wait a minute, what's that that Jacqueline has? That is the sauce. I make homemade sauce. Oh, so you make so, the sauce yeah, and so let's dip put, it. Yeah. So you didn't put the sauce in the pizza no. waffle. What happens is if you put your sauce in your biscuit, what's going to happen is it's going to take too long to cook. Oh. It's going to make your dough really, really soft. Okay. And it won't crisp up. So it's better for you to just leave it for the side and then just go ahead and dip. So Aiden and Jacqueline, if you guys want to come over, all right, here we go. I'm gonna work your, your to the here. Here we go. You're you're just in here. Earth so is I cooking. Have to use the sauce. Huh? Yeah, you can use the sauce. Just don't double dip. You don't have to use yeah, the sauce. Yeah, you don't have to use the sauce. Cheers. 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 Ah, let's see their faces. Oh, that's good. Is that good? <laughs> that's bigger, better than pizza. Mm -hmm. That's really good. So, and this is one thing that. Again, I mean, you can get four 
nice size and try it with waffles, pizza waffles, out of one pack of your grand. Oh. Um, so, of course, they're having pepperoni oh. and cheese. The man is going to have ham and cheese. We actually thought about doing just all cheese in one. Yeah. And that is something then that you can just cut it. And I know in Pennsylvania, we like to have tomato sauce or tomato soup okay. with a grilled cheese sandwich. This Whoa. will then give you all those like little nooks and crannies. Yeah. So when you dip it in your in your soup, you'll have all that soup with the sandwich. Oh wow. So wait a minute now. These waffles were made with grams? Yeah. Yep. Oh, so you didn't make no pancake batter no. and make a waffle. No, and that's you why you just use the grams for the for the dough. Yeah. And that's why like it's something easy that the kids can do. If you have yeah. these in your refrigerator, yeah. you know, they get home from school, they're hungry, then all you all they have to do is just pop one of those packs open. You know, and then, and then flatten them out. Flatten it out, put whatever they want in it, and they can make it in the waffle maker. Well, now I know where and I'm it's, it's kind of, <laughs> yeah. And you can go ahead and set, you know, you set it and just let it do its thing. And then when it's done, you just pull it out, cut it, and you're ready to go. So wow. it's literally like a like a 10 minute snack, I would say. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. I, I never would have thought about it. It tastes very good. Well, get approved. Get approved. Yeah, I know about my own. <laughs> get approved. Jojo, Jojo, Jojo doesn't know about her yet. Jojo's always the realist. <laughs> 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 She's like, I ain't saying nothing until I try it. She just popped some cheese in her mouth. She don't care. <laughs> her cheese starts to come out the side a little bit. Isn't that good? All right, Tina, can I have that, please? Yeah. <laughs> Pizza. Yeah. Yeah. So wait, JoJo don't like pizza. No. So she gets a so she gets a um brand with just ham and cheese. Yes. Okay. And, and sometimes bacon. bacon. And sometimes yeah. bacon. Oh, okay. Bacon. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I don't, I don't well, think this is quite done yet, kiddo. Okay. Oh. Just a few more minutes. So. <laughs> Wow. Uh, yeah, that one that we made pre made is gone. Gone. Yeah. So, Almost gone. Yeah. That was cool. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. So like I said, this is something that's very easy, very simple. And, um, and like I said, really if, really if a kid has to be at home and, and just has to make something quick for themselves, um, also good if you're having sleepovers. And the kids uh -huh. want to make something, and you're yep. like, listen, the kitchen's closed. I'm not doing anything. It's past 8 o'clock. This is something that they can actually pull things out that there's no, they don't have to prep much. Um, they can just pull it out, put it together, put it in the, the waffle maker, and then be done. So. Nice. All right, Miss Joanna. Woo! It's hot. It is very hot. And it is just so cheesy. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. My goodness. What kind of pizza does she like first? Well, no. Here, we can give her some of the ham and cheese one if she's okay with that. Sure. I'll give her some of mine. Let's go deliver. I don't want to try the ham. You still need to cut, okay? Yeah, I'm still cutting. Be patient. Let's be patient. I'll bring it down for me. No, I like it. Uh, the, the sweetie pies. I mean, we can, you guys yeah, let can, the sweetie pies do it. You guys can end it down there. How's that? Okay. And I'll, and I'll keep cooking. Hold on. Now, do you want to try it or do you want to wait? Yeah, let's let her try it. We want to see her try it. Uh, you can try it. It's very hot, honey. Yeah, yeah be yeah. careful. Blow on it. <laughs> so, uh, what was in be the careful. It's hot. Yeah, exactly. Oh, good. <laughs> was it good? Yeah. You, you didn't get to try it because it was too hot. Huh? Yes, it's very hot. All right. Yeah. You're not well, responsible for the cheese. cheese. They may be getting stuck in your Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, we, we, we put a lot of cheese, and now I'm sitting here cleaning out the cheese. Oh. Extra cheese makes cheese. Yeah, it does. Extra cheese is what everybody likes. Oh, come on. All right. You're right to make their cheese very comfortable. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> I hope we do this. Because you guys are going to take um, a piece of that and then we put it. We can put this 
cross down, and then you can take uh, two truffles. So we're going to send two plain truffles down to Jennifer. Well, we got to see. Well, we got to see Jojo eat first. I know, right? You got to blow on it. It's still hot. See, I told you. <laughs> Is it hot? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I told her it was still hot. <laughs> she got to blow on it. Yeah, it's still too hot. Yeah. All right, now it's hot. Why are you bringing it? It's still hot. Yeah, it's cheese. She's delicate. She's a little delicate flower. Okay. All right. Well, then here. So we have then we have truffles, sauce, <laughs> and a ham and cheese uh, waffle coming yeah. out to you right now. And I'm going to finish up some more pizza. Thank awesome. you. All right. We're going to go back down the stairs to Jennifer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello. We are here to deliver. Hi. Delivery. Delivery. Yes, indeed. All right. I had that one. Right, you have that one? Try a truffle. Thank you. Wait, oh, why are we trying awesome. the truffle down the floor? Try the truffle. Go ahead. Oh, there right. you go. Here's some sauce. Ooh, and sauce. Cool. Hey, rascal. No. Oh, awesome, gosh. guys. We didn't we even try it. Are we cheers in? Uh, truffle. Truffle sure. to pizza cheers. Oh. Truffle to pizza cheers. Rascal. You see what I think of you guys? Two sweetie pies. They eat smiles. Cool. Hey. I have this one because it has chocolate. Yeah. yeah. Let's try. Is it good? Yum. It's wonderful. <laughs> hey, guess what? You can make these. This is 10 times better than a cake pop. <laughs> <laughs> well, then. Now we know. Mm. Cool, guys. Good work. Did you have fun? Yeah. Awesome. Rascal's, looking, Rascal's looking up like, what, what, what about everybody's me? got stuff with me. Sorry, Rascal. Ow, Who's going to give you something? This one has chocolate. Yes, Rascal looks very interested in the Aren't treat. they all chocolate? Yeah. Except one. No. Rascal wants Even that has chocolate in it. Nobody made Rascal a treat. Sorry, Rascal. Hmm. You got plenty yesterday. He yeah. sure did, but he's looking to tell us. <laughs> everybody's got something, and they're what? all eating something, and I don't get any more. But you like one. No, not right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So the very last thing on your painting, sign a date. That's it. Oh. We'd love to see them if you want to share them. Yes. <laughs> I like it. Me too. I like the mint Oreos. Poor rascal. I like mint too. He just, he just, he just looking I at that mommy say. like, I know mommy's gonna give me a piece. He's gonna give me a bite of that, that, that pizza waffle. <laughs> you're gonna give me some pizza waffle, aren't you, mommy? Come on, you're not gonna leave me hanging, are you? <laughs> mommy, no. He's looking over at the Bye, girls. Rascal. He's like, wait, Might you know, huh? neither one of them came down. Those two sweetie pies came down, and neither one of them brought me a piece of pizza waffle. Please. See, he knew he wanted it. <laughs> of course he did. Of well, course. He, he hesitated for a second. He was like, I don't know what that is, but oh, she, please. she devoured it, so I want it. <laughs> so, yes, I didn't do your painting front or back. And we'd love to see what you did. Hopefully everyone had a great time today. I know I had a great time. Just an easy, just an easy <laughs> afternoon. Mark did five flights of stairs, six hold flights on, of stairs. On. We'll see, we'll see if anybody had a great time. Yeah, let's go. go see. We'll see. We'll check out painting. Yeah, here you go. Oh, there yay. you go. Love it, love it. <laughs> nice big one. Yeah, I love that apron. <laughs> I love it. Thank awesome. you. Thank you. Here's another one. Got, Here's ooh, another one. It. Ooh, I like the bottom. Ooh, you that the is bag. awesome. Hold up. What? Wait a minute. She what? was busy. I haven't got done yet. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. But I'm getting there. Cool. That is cool. Wow. <laughs> awesome. <laughs>
Overachiever. No. <laughs> I love it. What when, you're on, when you're on uh, disability leave, you get bored. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. That's what's going I hear on. You. Well, thanks for joining us and hanging out today. Yeah. Here we go. Hold on. There's Michelle. Yay. Nice. Are you using color pencils or are you doing paint? Oh, no. It's paint. It's paint. Is it paint? Yeah. At first, it looked like colored pencils the way I was on oh. that. <laughs> nope. It's paint. Nice. <laughs> it looks awesome. Nice work. Awesome. Thank you for joining us. Yes. So cool. Oh, boy. Aiden saw that clock in the background. I, I was going to say the same thing. Aiden just asked you a million questions about that clock. Yep. I think he has that one. Yeah, I think he has that one, too. <laughs> we lost count. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, we got a little boy that loves clocks. Yes, he does. <laughs> With Westminster Chime. We'll be sure to um, post your photos in the Facebook event. We'd love to see them. We'll put a little slideshow together. Yeah. Um, our virtual tip jar information is there. Today's virtual tip jar is going to the two sweetie pies. So whatever comes in today, we'll go to those two little ladies to uh, help them build their arsenal of baking supplies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but uh, we had a great time with them. I'm so glad that we were able yes, to. Yes, we had a great time with you as well. And um, don't forget to check out the Two Sweetie Pies on Facebook. Um, they're just getting started, but they'll be coming out. They said like most of the times they're in the middle of the week. Uh, but just go to their Facebook page, Two Sweetie Pies, get their logo, and you'll know that you're on their uh, you're on their page. All right. Yeah, we want to thank you guys for joining us today. It was a great way to start our Saturday afternoon, and we definitely want to do this again in the future. And we'll have them bake something next time or maybe just make some more treats. <laughs> but this was uh this was something new, something different for us. Um so we, we definitely wanted to try it, especially when uh the people we were teaming up with as families. So <laughs> That's right. that made it easy to do. It was awesome. <laughs> well, thank you guys all so much. Be sure to send in those photos and yes, so any if you guys were voting on the uh, the items. Two Sweetie Pies will end up putting them on their page as well. So uh, join up over there and they'll bring you some other fun stuff eventually. But we had a great time today. Thank you guys all for joining us. I think Two Sweetie Pies are going to go ahead and send off as well. All right. Will the recipes that they did today be posted anywhere? Oh, are the recipes that they did today going to be posted anywhere? Um, yes, they, the yeah, they were um, posted in the on Facebook page uh, under the event. Um, but I mean, again, just the truffles is 25 Oreo cookies, keep it thin, with four ounces of cream cheese, and that's it. That's how you make the truffle part. And then just get your favorite uh, melting chocolate to dip your chocolates in. As far as the waffle, the pizza waffles, um, it's just a pack, a, a canister of grams, Pillsbury grams. And then really your filling is up to you. Um, we use mozzarella cheese, pepperoni, and honey ham, but you can use if you want to use vegetables, if you want to use just cheese, like I said, for tomato soup, um, the, really the possibilities are endless with this because it's so, so easy and versatile. But just keep in mind that what, uh, what a lot of viewers are asking is, will you post the recipe, recipe. somewhere? Yeah, if you well, post it somewhere on your page, that'll make them come to your page looking for it, <laughs> and then they will write it down, and then they will do it. So please right. consider yes. putting that on your page. Yes, I can post some pictures on our page as, as well as the recipes and so forth. Um, and then just make sure you just keep coming back to our page for um, recipes, for more lives, more kid friendly stuff. Um, and then we hope to, to see you there. Uh, we definitely be making sure everybody comes and checking you guys out. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Uh, this is a this is a lot of fun for the yeah. first time doing it and for the first time doing it live on YouTube. We want to thank the two sweetie pies and mom for joining us today and doing it. And uh, we're just going to enjoy the rest of the day eating snacks. snacks. And, uh, 
thinking of more things to do for you guys that we can make interesting. So thank everybody for joining us today. And uh, we'll do this again sometime in the future. So everybody have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Thank you again for joining us. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Thank you. Awesome. Bye. Bye. <laughs>